Yeah, that's pretty good. Tuna patties. She said, she said, how, how, how you going to get the cornbreads in a tuna patty video? Uh, to make tuna patties, I prefer to use cornbread as a filler instead of cornmeal. And and you see, it's kind of warm. Not, not, not hot, but just warm. Been sitting here cooling. But you see, I made this small cornbread thin so it would be crusty. And I'll show you something. Watch this. When you when you dump them cornbreads out, they should just fall out of there with with, with if you have if you if you if your cornbreads are sticking in a cast iron skillet, you you're not starting with a hot skillet. But we got we got one of them right there. Oh, that's a nice one. And also uh, clean up as you go. Don't don't let no crumbs be on the stove. The uh, other one, the other cornbread. Let's just do it the same way. Voila. The most beautiful color and texture of a cornbread. Oh, it's just, you know, I'm proud of me. I've got cornbread to a science. But as you can see, nothing stuck. And what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to put some oil in the big, big skillet. And we're going to fry some tuna patties and maybe a little um, barbecue dip on the side with uh, baked potato wedges and we got them two cans of tuna in there for a uh, drained and we've got that there white part of that cornbread right there one one cup and a little bit we got that set aside and 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 now what I need to do is a very very small like a quarter inch or less down like an eighth of an inch uh, chop on these onions right here. When you're talking about soul food, this right here would be up at the top of the list. It's a it's it's bordering on comfort food, but it's also a good economical type dish in most occasions. We got them onions, and that, that that might that might be a little bit extra right there. We might try to work all them in there. Two cans of drained tuna. Water the top; it's got the water in it. A little more than a cup of uh, bread crumbs, corn bread, or instant grits. Put them in there. A little bit. That's that there corn meal. That's self rising right there. And I got a little bit of them. Y'all see about how many pepper flakes I got right there? Yeah, put them in there. That was a little bit much right there, but it'll be all right. And them onions. You remember them onions we had over there? A couple of a couple of handfuls of them onions. Oh, I don't know. Let's just rake all them off in there. Them onions, they eat pretty good, you know. Onions in there. The um, let's stir it up a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah, it's gonna be good. We got that big skillet on the stove, if you remember. With about we 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 got about a half inch or so of oil in that big skillet. Oh, that's mixing up well right there. That's a nice mix. Uh, take notice. That's the way you want it to look. Uh, the uh, let's put the, let's put an egg in there. Normally, I don't I don't I don't like to I don't like to uh, I don't like to cook with them eggs. If you you you, you kind of know that. And that's the reason I put them grits in there. But occasionally, let's, let's just put that egg in there. You know, occasionally you do need one. Stir it all up. Mix it well, very well. Oh, it's going to be good. Clean up as you go. Don't let none of it get uh, over yonder. Uh, scoop it away. Clean up as you go. Let's put us a little oil in there. 
Not much on that oil right there because we got oil in that. Uh, oh, you see about how much I put there? That's that vegetable oil. Just a little bit. I'm not going to put no salt in this. Uh, may have some barbecue sauce as a dipping sauce. We're going to put some room temperature water in here. It's quite easy to make. Room temperature water is good to have. It, it works in a lot of recipes. Uh, 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 room temperature water. That's all I'm going to say about that. And we're going to put some. Uh, we're going to put some brown mustard in there. And uh, the everybody says, how much do you put in there? And and if you you see about how much I got. That's about three spoons of mustard, and about a spoon and a half sticks to your fingers so you have to augment that with some extra uh, some uh, brown mustard about that much uh, it's just all all this brown mustard is going to act as a clean up as you go the brown mustard is a flavor Enhancer, you you really you really actually do need it in there, kind of to help to make a patty. This 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 stuff right here is gonna stick together uh, in a fairly uniform patty. Uh, you can call them a croquet if you want to. Uh, I don't know where that croquet is uh, French. I'm, I I probably think that's French. Uh, uh, tuna croquet. And, uh, oh, that smells really good. If I had some potatoes, I'd put some potatoes in there and some mayonnaise, and I'd call that tater salad with tuna. My. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me stop right now. Hey, hey, listen up. Do not, let me warn you, uh, no matter how strong, how, how, how you can put off a... Uh, what is the temptation? Okay, right here, right here, when the Bible, if you was reading the Bible, and you was reading about temptation, okay, and you looked it up, if you looked up temptation in the dictionary, right here's what you would see. Uh, just, just being here with it, the, the aroma, the smell, uh, present company accounted for. It's, uh, it's one of those things that that the the next instinct that you have, it, the next thought is to taste it, you know. The next the next uh, I'll say the temptation is almost too much. I, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, but see, I can I can do it. See, I cannot be tempted to taste that because I've I I, I I've made it this far. I'm gonna go ahead and fry some patties out of this. Uh, that, and that, that's all they are to it. And this right here, this this at this point in time, you you should be able to make a patty out of that. See that? Oh, that's gonna be good. Okay, I'm gonna put them in that skillet over there, and we're gonna fry them about five minutes on each side at a pretty pretty hot skillet. You know, when the oil sizzles, about one inch, one half inch thick vegetable in the pan. And we're going to fry these. In that, in that, in that, in that cast iron skillet there, I got about a half inch of vegetable oil. I'm going to turn it up. It was on medium and one notch hot, so I'm going to turn it up one more. The because I can see a ripple, and it's pretty hot. That's pretty hot. But 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 uh, what 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 it is you want to do? And that's the big burner. So I got a full full heating surface. And oh yeah, I can see it bubbling, so it's good to go. Let's let's get them in there. Oh, he's gonna be good. 